I am back and it seems like it's been a really long time since I filmed. The last time I filmed was about like am I normal people sick or something like that and I'm st the answer to that question um, I can say is yes because I have a cold so but it's like much worse because of like Lyme and all those things. Um, so if you can't hear it in my voice a little bit, my tongue like randomly gets really itchy. But my mom gave me a Benadryl for that, so hopefully that's good. Um, like fine now. I'm not sure if I have strep, but if I do, I've got magic IV medication came in <coughs> today. Um... This is for Lyme disease, it covers strep, I don't remember if it covers Bartonella, I know it covers multiple things, maybe, I think so, but don't count me on it. Um, so it, they came in the fridge, I have a three month supply, so 90 days, and if I do really good and like things are really improving, then maybe I'll stay on it for longer. Right now, I have 90 days. So, I've got this right here. This lovely basket of IV stuff. I have my port already accessed because today was my second day of not only ketamine, but also <coughs> IVIG. So, I'm at 1,500 milligrams of ketamine over a four-hour period, which is an insanely high dose just a very high dose, which shows the amount of pain I'm in. And it's very, very challenging. Um, since the dose is so high, it completely knocks me out, but not to sleep, just to a, like a staring, like with my eyes, like barely open, but staring. And like, I don't respond to anything like people Apparently people like come in and say like hi and I just, I hear nothing, I see nothing, I don't remember anything. Um, my mom's been watching like her own TV shows of like whatever on the TV and like reading books and I have like no idea what's going on. And it acts, it like starts acting really fast because the dose is just so high. But we had an issue with my port today because apparently like last night in my sleep, I was pulling at it, like trying to get it out because it must have been something with my dream because obviously I wouldn't do that in real life. Um, so my dream was like having me do that and then I like woke up from it and I was like, oh shoot. And I made sure it was all like set, like I didn't pull a take room off. And I didn't, thank goodness. And I went back to bed. Well, when I was pulling and messing with it, I must have like pulled it out of the, not like out of my chest completely because the needle would have come out, but um, out of where it should be. I flush with my saline. So when we got to the ketamine place and they were, going to flush my port and get it all set. There's no blood return. I tried wiggling it around and everything and then that didn't work and then I was like, okay, then we were like gonna reaccess it. And then my mom didn't have all the supplies and we had to find sterile gloves and um, cause we had only some of the supplies and I couldn't access it, which was weird. And I think it's because they were trying to hold a mirror for me and I was hunched over trying to see through the mirror and usually I'm standing upright and the mirror was moving and I was trying. So it was like a not the best situation to try to do that. All right, I do have to focus now. I have to do this over five minutes. It is 12.24. Wait, so about to, oh, my friend Megan just texted me. 12.30-ish. Um, 
so yeah, it just wasn't the best thing. But I'm on IV row seven right now. There is no issue with having to take like preventative gallbladder medication for this for me um, because this can cause gallstones, especially in females my age um, for young adult age, um, like 20s and teenagers. And I did have that happen, but that was when I was a senior in high school. Um, so I'm just gonna go nice and slow with this. You don't have to be like crazy with the timing, as long as you go slow. And we will see how this works out for me. I didn't, and this is one gram. This is once a day. Feel like it's twice a day, but obviously I'm not gonna do two now because so it's refrigerated, but then you just warm it up in your hands. It's pretty easy. I got myself a calendar for 2020 New York, which is really all of New York City, which I think is kind of cool. My current calendar is like a Christian based calendar and it just says like all nice things. And I got my mom this for Christmas. I always get her a calendar. She needs big calendars. So I got her St. Bernard's because she likes St. Bernard's. All cute. I was like trying to find like a dog one, but then some of them had like <clears throat> dogs we didn't like, like the breed of and I knew she wouldn't like. So I was like, uh, and I didn't want to get like all like yellow labs because they're weird because they're not Sonoma. Like, I don't know. So I just got cute St. Bernard's. Um, last year, I, well, last year I got her polar bear. So she's filling, finishing her polar bear one for 2019. And then the year before that, it was like sea turtles. And that's probably when I started it. Cause that's the last thing I remember. Cause she always needs a calendar, so. I'm gonna put these away in my room, um, in my desk. I can go a little faster, actually. I'm going slower than I need to. So we're gonna see how I herks on this stuff, um, neurologically to see. Um, we know that the inflammation in my brain is really high and that's causing a lot of problems and it's causing the, it's one of the reasons, well, one thing that it's causing is it's, with the inflammation in my brain being really high, it, it's not allowing the ketamine to last as long. So we need to get the inflammation down. And it's just all difficult. And I'm starting another medicine called Plaquenil. I'm not sure if that's a pandas thing for like inflammation or what. I've been on it before, I just can't remember because there's so many things. Um, but that's about it. And I'm gonna see how I do on this. And I'm gonna go text my friend because she just texted me asking if I was awake. And I am. Finish my meds and go upstairs and hang out. I've got two more days of high dose ketamine and hopefully I won't have to be back for a long time. See you later.